Namaste everybody. We are Hotspot Yoga. We're in Marmion and Road in Southsea. I'm the principal teacher and the founder, Lisa, of Hotspot Yoga. And I have two of my teachers with me today, Bronwyn and Erica. Would you like to join us on a mat? Just sit yourself down and just, just move into any position that you feel comfortable in. Let's just start to spread our roots into the grass or on your yoga mat. Focus on the breath coming in through your nose. Lift your heart up to the beautiful sky. And then breathe out through your nose. Take a long breath out. Start to ground yourself into this moment. Again, breathe in through your nose. Take a deep breath in. Fill your heart and lungs. You might even be able to observe the pause between each breath. And then let go, surrender to the out breath. Feel the ground beneath you. Make contact with your planet. And then just take another breath on your own. Just let the breath come and go as it pleases. Give yourself time to breathe, time to reconnect with the nature of your being. And then you can light this pose up with a smile. Come and roll back onto your back. Just see if you can hug your knees into your chest. You might want to wrap your hands over your shin. You might want to lift your head or not. You might even find you're happy to bring your arms to the backs of your knees. Just see if there's any movement in your back. It might feel quite tight initially. Just start to move from your core as you rock yourself over from side to side. Bring your head, neck and shoulders with you. Just let your body swagger. A little bit of attitude and gratitude on your mat. Not for now. And then if you can, just cross your ankles. See how that feels. Lift your head up, and if you're able to reach towards your feet, start to bend your knees out to the side to see how that feels. Imagine you're holding a log of bas uh, a basket full of logs, and you're wrapping your arms around. Try and bring your shoulders back to the mat and your chin to your chest. Focus on your breathing. Your breathing is not just a priority, it's essential. Otherwise, this pose could be fatal. Then you can wrap your hands possibly around your legs, the outside of your legs. Maybe that's somewhere that you can move into. As you're warming up, you really just want to feel quite playful. And then really wrap yourself up. Let's come nice and wide into up vista Panasi and just maybe just. Feeling your sit bones, have a little wiggle, <laughs> a little shoulder roll. Namaste, Carmen. If your legs don't like this, just bend your knees. Just bend your knees. So you just want to make sure that you're not overstretching, because then you're just going from being harmonious to harmful and hurtful. up and you can rest your arm on your leg and then just put your right hand and push down onto your right side and just see if you can just root down into your right side and lift your right shoulder up tuck your left shoulder underneath you and there you are you've got that lovely twist going on belly comes into your back come back to the breathing if you're holding your breath you've come too far come back to the breath 
push your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, your chin to your chest. Either drop it down to your left shoulder. If you have neck injuries, this is a nice place to rest. If you're feeling strong, you can turn your head up to the sky. Breathing in, lifting up with your right arm. And again, just journeying through and just stopping when it becomes too much, when the breath starts to be held, when you're feeling uncomfortable. And if you want to, you can slide your arm in front and maybe you might find you can grab your feet. Try not to pull your toes off, it's not worth it. Just tucking under with the right shoulder, up with the left. Focus on breathing. Let's see if you can take a couple of deep breaths without rushing the breath. Just give yourself this time, time that you've probably given to someone else today. And then exhale, just coming forward. And forward might be here for you, chin on chest. Or you might find that you just want to shimmy down a little further and just, just move around. Come over to the other side. Always make sure you're breathing first. Inhaling to begin to move. Palm up. Left hand pushes down. Up right shoulder comes in. Can you feel that twist in your oblique muscles? Belly comes into your back. And again, you can just stay here. And this is enough already. Try not to beat yourself up as if this is where you are and others are moving forward. They may have just come straight from the circus, you have no idea. Breathing, lifting up in the left arm, gently dropping down towards your mat or the floor. And just seeing where you want to go with this, you can take your arm up and leave it behind your back. Try and lift your elbow up, try and take your left shoulder up and look through. And then exhale, moving through it. And then just take an, a little bit of movement here, just see how your body feels. Start connecting with the soft tissue in your body. Coming across again to the left side. Now we're leaning forward, but we'll start by just keeping the hips forward and just twisting from our belly button. So you're coming into Swadhishana Chakra and you're twisting and then you just begin to Lean in using the out breath. Let the out breath be your guide, not your mind. Empty your mind, empty your thoughts, and then just bow your head. And let's just take a moment just to be grateful for our bodies and what they're able to give us right now. And then we can breathe in again and come across. Yoga teaches us not to rush, just to be present, just to be here, just to turn up for this moment. So we're taking a nice twist, breathe in, open, lift and lengthen, and then exhale. Just be a little bit curious with your body. Explore your vulnerabilities, your inner strength. Rub the back of your throat with the breath and hear the breath. Keep reconnecting with your life force and then breathe in, come up. You might want to help your legs now and fold. Whoops. And coming over your knees, sprinkle your fingers out, curl your toes back underneath you. Lengthen your arms, push, push, push. Slide your shoulders down into the middle of your back. I love to have a little swagger here. I just kind of wiggle my bottom. It gives me a really nice stretch through the sides of my body. Deep breaths. Let your heels float back. Try not to put them on the floor. We always have so much more potential, physically as well as everything else. Let your head feel long and loose. Just empty your mind of all of your worries and concerns and let them drop onto your mat. Come down onto your left elbow and breathe in, lift your right leg up. Just let your leg have the wanderlust, let it go. 
keep your neck nice and long slide your left hip underneath you and lift your right hip up as you bend your right knee you can flex or point your foot lift your right knee a little higher slide the left knee the left hip underneath you push back if your arms feel strong into down facing dog or drop two knees and then find the pose again big out breath through your mouth big sigh ah. again breathe in through the nose push the heels back breathe out through your mouth big sigh ah. drop down onto your right elbow now breathe in lift your left leg up Imagine doing the splits here. Feel the strength in your spine. Draw your belly into your back. Squeeze your glutes. Let your leg float all the way up. This is very similar to our logo pose, so you really do need to light this pose up with a smile. Now bend your knee. Slide your right hip underneath you. Lift your left hip up. See if you can stay for one more breath. This really helps you de-stress. Just being able to stay for a moment longer and just take a breath rather than our go-to fixes. Inhale, push into your hands. Back into down facing dog. <sighs> Big sigh. Lift your heels up, move your shoulders forward over your hands. Put your knees on the floor. Chest between hands or you can push your heels back and bend the elbows coming down nice and slowly halfway through. Inhale, kick over your toes, lift yourself up. Beautiful, push your heart forward, bring your heels together up yes. and over your toes. Big breath out. Do you want to try sausage roll? <sighs> lift your heels, look to the front, step forward with your right leg, left leg follows, you can help your right leg in with your hand behind your ankle if you need to. If your legs are bent, hold on to your elbows and use the weight of your head to unravel your spine. Remember you can bend your knees as much as you need to. Just move towards your toes. If you've got straight legs, you can take your hands behind your legs and take more of an intense stretch. Uttanasan. Ut meaning intense. Tan is to stretch and asan is the pose. Uttanasan. Inhale, halfway up. Fingertips, shins or knees. Eyes forward. I'd like to see your teeth. Beautiful. Shoulders back, belly's empty. Now, if you're feeling you're pulling in the back of your legs, please bend your knees now. Inhale, straight up. All the way up to the sky. Bring your hands together, bend your elbows. Take your hands, thumbs into the back of your neck. Press your toes in the floor and lengthen through your thighs. And lift your ribs. Look up and reach. Now okay, hands come back to your heart. Namaste. Namaste. I'm going to pass you on to Erica now for flow. Namaste, everybody. We will continue with a bit more dynamic flow now. So please step on the top of your mat, close your legs. And with a deep inhalation, you're raising your arms over your head, you're stretching the body and looking up. Exhale, foot forward from the hips, lower your head. Inhale, look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step or jump back into plank from here lower into chaturanga keep your legs lifted or take your knees down inhale lift up into upward facing dog raise your chest press your shoulders down keep your legs and core active exhale take downward facing dog your sit bones are raising your palms are pressing into the ground your heels are extending towards the ground you lengthening your spine and you dropping your chin in towards your chest. Now inhale, look up and step your right foot forward. Your right knee over your right ankle. Your left heel is still on the ground. Inhale, raise your arms into warrior one. Your palms are touching. Twist your right hip back. We're gonna hold this for about five breaths. 
So you're inhaling and exhaling through your nose. You're trying to drop your right thigh slightly more. If you have discomfort in the knee, you can come up a little bit higher. Keep pressing into the back foot and exhale, extend your arms forward. In about 60 degrees, gaze on the palms. Keep pulling your shoulders backward. And now, straighten your front leg. Keep extending forward. And from here, you're gonna fold forward, placing your hands on your shin or see whether you can reach the ground. And you're nicely extending on that front leg. If you feel discomfort in the back of your right knee, you can bend that knee slightly. Keep extending through the crown of the head. And now bend your right knee again. You're lifting your left heel off the ground. Strong back leg. Then you raise your arms into high lunge. Keep your arms parallel. Spread your fingers wide. Keep that back leg active. Drop your shoulders. Pull them back. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. And exhale. Twist to the right. Extend through the arms in line with the legs. Your gaze to side or towards your right hand. And now exhale, extend forward. You bring in your left elbow behind your right knee. Cross palms together into the heart center. And you twist in your chest open towards the sky. And now shift your weight on your right leg. You're gonna step your left foot forward besides the right one. So you can look down if that feels better. You can even reach down, step forward. And your left elbow is behind your right knee. You keep twisting your chest open to the sky. Just a few more breaths. You're looking upwards to side and inhale. Your knees are bending. Turn forward into chair pose. Arms extending about 60 degrees forward. Gaze on your palms. Keep your legs together. You either remain in here or you can try to extend your right leg forward if you feel for you need some more challenge. slowly straightening your left leg, you're raising your right knee, bring your hands on your hips, elbows turning back, keep raising your right knee, open your chest, pull your shoulders back, 